Bergwin has been complete. We've got four objectives done in literally the five matches. Very, very happy with how quick this card is to complete. The how-to is on the channel if you want to go check that out. It just gives you a little brief explanation of how uh, to do it and also gives you the example of the team to use. In terms of the card, you have got a loan that you can get. I now look at it and think, why do we need the loan? We've absolutely smashed it. So he will unfortunately be uh, in the bin before too long with the loan. We've got the 84 now, which obviously has got the guaranteed of two upgrades later on. And again, another uh, what another numbers up card into the club we have now got felix Asensio, and bergwin i think i'm hoping i'm saying that correctly but again a prem left mid another great player great pace dribblings up there shooting and passing looking fantastic obviously a five star two star so not necessarily the greatest in terms of that but what you do get is quite its quite a nice card. He's an outside of the foot shot and flair as his traits. Obviously, he's very, very quick down that wing. And he is right-footed, so the cutting is what you're going to need. Otherwise, you can obviously swap him and put the right foot to use as a crosser rather than obviously kind of cutting into shoot as obviously the 79 finishing isn't fantastic but we would be looking at a finisher chem style for him turn him into an 89 left wing center forward an 88 striker and obviously an 87 cam so we will be whacking the finisher on him i'm going to jump him into a squad because we are looking at him and rice in these two reviews so stay tuned for that let's get him into the squad and add a finisher to him so we have got him in the squad as you can see we've got the finisher on him great finishing on him now he's got eight well no he's got 94 finishing obviously with the finisher chem style you get a plus 15 as well as 98 shot power and then also 87 attacking positioning so it does do absolute wonders his agility and balance hit the roof as well as then having 99 dribbling on that stat so honestly he's going to be a fantastic card i think just straight away looking at what i think could actually be the negatives for him obviously the two star weak foot is always going to be a massive one that compared to anybody who is 5'5, five, 5'4, five, five, four, even 4'4 four, four is a hindrance right there. Other than that, I think stamina is is average right now but i think kind of give it a week uh, give it a month or so and that's going to become low composure exactly the same maybe not necessarily the worst right now but as we go further with more specials that obviously then would be a little bit of a problem other than that i think everything looks relatively solid short pass is nice i don't necessarily need too much long game hopefully so let's see Burge win. Gonna go keep a side, but Courtois is gonna make that save. First interaction with the ball, and he does manage to get the shot off, but unfortunately doesn't manage to do too much with it. Can we find him again? Kante. Oh, he's gonna find an offside KDB, I think, there. Chase down Pogba there, nearly trying to get to him. Again, I think uh, the, the two-star weak foot's going to be a little bit of an issue, but I think the card is so easy to get that you'd really be silly not to do him. It literally took probably 30 minutes, so I really think that card is absolutely fantastic to grind out. Very, very quick indeed. Like I said, if you haven't checked the video, it will be either at the end of this video, if you wanted to check it out there, or obviously it will be in the, uh, the description for you to have a look at if you've not done it as of yet. And just don't particularly want to read anything. I do kind of... That's why they're there just so you can kind of have somebody say it rather than actually need it oh went for the right foot not quite but he does manage to get the ball back he does win it that's decent get him again Kante is going to try and force it to him Bruno's going to have something and unfortunately we're going to be told off by the referee Burge win here Abamyang is going to set him in looking for it we're going to try the cut in obviously he's going to if you'd know this card, you'd know full well that, A, I'm not going to hit it in with my left foot. And we're always going to try and cut in at least a little bit into the spin. And Bruno just gets the automatic click and unfortunately does manage to do something with it. Aubameyang's through. We are still looking for Bergwin, who's making that run. Going to whip a ball in, and it's just not great. Unfortunately, Aubameyang doesn't have the crossing capabilities. Maybe should have went with just a, a kind of a straight pass more than anything. May have been the better option in that scenario. We got it here again. We're going to look for that one, two. He's going to think we're going to go with Aubameyang and wait for him to bring him across. Knock it to him. Get the chest. Little head as well. We've kind of been battered into a corner here. Turn. Little turn. Ooh. Goes with a finesse. Maybe should have again. Look for the pass. We are trying to review him to see what it's like outside of the box. And it's it's okay. We have got an in 
have we got an injury? They've got an injury. But in terms of him, he's not necessarily awful. But I think inside the box may be a little bit better. And if we do quickly take a quick look whilst we're taking this break at his finishing. Long shots is 85. I don't know if that constitutes of a long shot. But again, it will have a certain factor to obviously not being necessarily in the box. Burge win. Little spin, goes into the straight shot, and that's what you want to see from him. Fantastic goal. Eventually gets himself in there. If he just keeps going away at it, he will get himself a goal. And it is the first for the club. And again, we are just battering on down this attack. That is not who I wanted it to pass to, though. That is a ball. Bergwin is going to just take full advantage. Little chip over, and Aubameyang is going to go for that volley. And that is a lovely assist and a lovely volley from Alba. It's a lovely little spin, puts the ball in, and Gomez is just not going to be able to get there. If that was Marquinhos, we know that was going to go and be uh, headed in. I think Bergwin is definitely impressed. Uh, obviously, like I say, the two-star weak foot is always going to be necessarily the issue with him in terms of comparing him to the likes of Son, comparing him to... Um, there's another left mid. I don't even know the other left mid. Jota. Uh, Jota. I knew there was another one. Jota obviously is a fantastic one. Um, we will be looking at him very, very soon. But in terms of them, they're always going to have that big advantage in comparison. But from what I've seen from him so far, a very... Oh, nice penalty. A very, very nice card. Solid all round. Good shooting. Pace is absolutely fantastic. And wins the ball. That, that for me, is the perfect left mid. And obviously, the, the kind of greatest combination from that is that he is absolutely free. So... For me, that is always a winning combination at the very minimum. And he would never lose points in terms of SBC value or, or is he worth the grind? Because to be honest, the grind took 30 minutes. And yes, you have got to win or, or necessarily you've got to score at least and assist in every single one of their matches. But for five matches, literally 30 minutes on a Saturday or on a, on a Friday, in fact, I really cannot complain in comparison to the 10, 15, even 20 matches that sometimes you have to do to obviously get these cards. So absolutely. Absolutely stunning work from them with this one. Um, obviously, Prem Dutch goes into the nice Netherlands team as well. I don't know if there is any more Netherlands player players in that left mid role. But for me, I think he's an absolute dub for now. Rice, where, what are we looking for? Go for a little, little dinking pass there. Every pass has been absolutely exquisite from him. I know that is necessarily his thing. Conte is just going to lump the keeper, though. You love to see it. it. pops up from nowhere. Rice is just going to win it back again. Feeds or tries to feed it into Alba. Even when he doesn't get the pass right, it always bounces back to us. And again, looking at that dribbling, he's not necessarily the, the most agile player in the world. And I think we can definitely see that. And I think in terms of this, you've got to get that tackle right. Otherwise, Werner is going to ease... Good headshot. He's easily going to run past him. And that is going to be where he loses his value. Not having that pace and maybe making that odd mistake is always going to be the issue with him. So hopefully we do get a, a more upgraded one. Um, I feel like he was a nice idea. But I think he needs that team of the season sort of... Uh, upgrade to really put himself into contention or at least just agility balance put on him i don't know if it's necessarily going to change his complete animation set but he could do with something like that to make him almost relevant with this so if we're looking at Bergwin then so obviously in terms of objectives we'll have a quick look we have to start off play five matches Simple as you like it. It is a max chemistry, and obviously that will come clear with the next three objectives. So, numbers up objective. It's the friendly game mode. With this, you need 10 players. So, you can use a goalkeeper if you want. You can put another player as, uh, like, if you wanted a centre-back and didn't care about the goalkeeper. As long as 10 players have a minimum for all three, a minimum of 75 pa uh, passing, 82 pace, 80 dribbling they're the only three stats that you need to look at in terms of these players and all you have to do in them is assist and score if you do that in five matches with 10 players of all of them you can easily do it like i say check the video out down below it will be in the description and then also will be at the end screen if you want to go for that and have a look at what team i did build that's all you need is 10 of them players and you just need to play the matches if they quit they quit as long as you've scored an assist you've done your part for the game and it literally can be done in five matches obviously people are rage quitting so it can be done very very quickly in terms of Bergwin then so the negatives straight off the bat we'll get with them two star weak foot always going to be a negative never going to be a positive 
always gonna be. Then, stamina-wise, I think right now, not bad. I think it's about average, but going forward, that's going to be an issue. Same as the composure. That, for me, in a month's time when we've got players who are averaging 85 to 90 composure, this is where this card will be left in the dust. Obviously, he can get an upgrade, so he probably got up to 82, maybe 83 composure by the end of it. But again, I'm not too sure when them upgrades are actually happening, because normally, like we see with VA upgrades, they, they take ages to happen so i can imagine we'll probably see january and march or something like that um that personally is when i see the upgrades happening which again is going to be far too long away yes we've only just got them so we can't just be upgrading them now but it needs to be a bit sooner maybe a month and then a week or a month and then two three weeks even just back to back months do it in december do it in january i know it's still necessarily not the greatest but it is just a bit quicker than what we can imagine we're going to get more like a, a two month waiting list of anything other than that, the pace is absolutely solid for him. His shooting wasn't terrible with that finisher chem style. Obviously, that will help with the agility balance as well as dribbling from him. Passing-wise, short game was nice. Didn't really use too much long game because net naturally, how I have my left wings is I have them always on the attack. So necessarily, I don't need to do that many long passes. It is more through balls into him more than anything. And realistically, just a nice free card. He's not necessarily going to change people's teams, but again, he's not going to cost you a single penny. More than likely in terms of left mids, if we are looking at them, obviously Son's taking the cake at the moment. Jota looks absolutely fantastic, so we're going to try him out. Um, obviously, we've used Foden for quite a while, but he is definitely more of a cam. Same with Grealish, more of a cam role there. Um, so really, he's coming in at, what, 1-2? Obviously, we don't forget Mane. So at 1-2-3... Don't know what Lundberg's like, but we're going to miss him out of this one. Uh, four, five for Rashford, but I like him at striker personally more. So say if we take Rashford and put him as a striker, he is the fifth or the one. Yeah, three, four. Yeah, he's the fifth left mid in the kind of run-ins. So for me, I think that is kind of puts him into perspective of what sort of rating and level he is in this game. But then also what you could actually get instead. Obviously, he's coming in free, which is always nice for a Dutch team because I personally don't know if there's many or any Dutch left wings other than Dan Juma. So he's actually got a lot of work come out here. 84 road to the knockout was still the chance to go up, I believe. Road to the knockout, Dan Juma is incredible. So for me, it's going to be a big one in terms of what you can expect. But Dan Juma is a four star, four star. So that already puts him in very, very good stead to be ahead of Bergwin, even if he is necessarily better. I think for me, in terms of the objective this week, a 10 out of 10, um, easy to grind. Maybe a little bit too easy to grind, which I, you don't normally say, but I think we got it done in like 20 minutes. I know they don't necessarily expect everybody to be leaving, but it would be nice maybe a little bit more to kind of grind a little bit. That being said, I, I'm quite happily take them as quick as possible because then we can move on to our next thing, which is reviewing this whole team. In terms of overall for him then, I'm going to have to give him a 7.8. I don't think he's quite an 8, but I think it's going to be harsh to drop him any lower. Um, personally, I did like him over Rice in terms of his position, but I think Rice just is missing out on that agility balance. If he had that, I feel like he jumps up a high, a really high rating, whereas I think Bergwin personally has almost got to the level that he can do, and he's just not quite as good just yet. He would need a big, big upgrade to, to kind of really see him into that next step. And also, he'd need a weak foot upgrade, and obviously there's only really a handful of promos that actually do that, foot birthday being the main one. So whether we're going to see one there is very, very unlikely. Overall-wise, though, 7.8. Let me know if you've completed him yet. Also, if you are wanting to check out the how to complete him, check down below or wait for this loading screen to come up in a second. And I'll see you for the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe. Peace.